Hand it to me. That's right. This is boom. Oh yeah. Welcome back <laughs> to another edition of The Gentleman's Den. Yeah. Episode 11. <laughs> I am Sean. To my left is Frankie. To my right is Jeff. You've heard it before. Welcome back. Gentlemen, how are we doing this week? <sighs> <laughs> that is the best explanation I have heard in a long fucking time. This week's been rough, but... I love this week. Jeff's been going through it. Ah, the struggle's real. <sighs> Makes one smart ass comment and just gets punched in the dick for a week straight. Let's just have a cheers to everyone. Be a that's pal in, in a relationship. Dude, go get it. You're that's yo beater. shit. You're a dick. Beater. I said, hey, make me a freshener. You're like, no, oh, hey, we, we've been waiting to start this now for how long? Show. And you weren't set up? That's on you. Yeah. I've been waiting for nothing. I'm going to get pulled back. I'm going to get pulled back in a week. You fucking choke, Margo. So, Pull me. what uh, Jeff and I were talking about earlier is actually what we want to start with. So, we got a little explanation about our closing song last week. Yeah, From, let's go to the story a little bit. We'll go to the story. So, Riverside Rob, a.k.a. Rob Dragansky, was one of our best friends legitimately best dude one of the best dudes you'll ever know 100 percent. and uh unfortunately was killed by a drunk driver when he went to take his friend's bike out for a test drive and the drunk driver had his family in the car too which makes it even more a pile of shit (laughs) in my eyes and uh, I mean, we joke about drinking and getting fucked up in Wisconsin oh, and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, uh, I've never murdered anybody in my car. That's all I'm saying. No, I and I I know as a fucking human, if I had a family, I would not have my child or my wife in my car with me when I was shit face wasted. No, not a chance. I'm shit face wasted. I'm staying here. Yeah, you're you going nine nine. <laughs> you're gonna go nine nine pretty soon. So, so as a tribute, we decided to play Rob's song, and uh, it's you know, unfortunately, it's kind of a depressing song. To be honest with you, it's a beautiful song. It's a it be- is a beautiful song, but it is like we had a. I mean, on the podcast, we talk about beer and beer and tits. You know, pussy and beer. How's that come off? Huh. Beer, beer and tits. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're we're, we're, we're dick and fart and jokes, tits. and we're we're ending it with a serious thing, and that's just it's. But we're pay- I mean, it, like it's, it's a friend we grew up with. It's a friend we loved, and he passed away, and we're just you know we're trying to help out the family. Yeah, it's it's for us. We asked him if we could play the song. We played the song. Yeah, so we're gonna adjust it a little bit. Yeah, so I mean. Each week, you'll you'll hear a snippet. You're not going to hear the whole song because... But that was like... It's a beautiful song. I is. know I, lo- I lost some people close to me, you know, growing up. And Frankie, that was like... I remember that Robbie D affected you hard because that was like your first... Yeah. That's when you, I realized I wasn't first, invincible. Yeah. That was like your first toe dip into the fucking pool of... Unfortunately, Chicanery. unfortunately, Ra was like my uh, like fifteenth or something. So it it was it was very very difficult because I talked to him literally two minutes before he got on the motorcycle, and uh, I still remember our last conversation like it was yesterday, which is scary because it's been twelve years now. Yeah, it's fucking. It, it gets deep, man. I mean, we were Frank and I were on the way to his house. Yeah, we seen party. him at the gas station, and we were like, "Hey, come grab food with us. Let's let's kick it." He's like, "Oh man, I gotta get to the house." There used to be a huge rager every single year where he would have the band play. Keg. This was just a random fires. Thursday, though. Yeah, um, this was during the fucking week. I had to work in the morning. Yeah, yeah this but, was a random Thursday. Well, it's been a tradition now for the last ten years. Going there. Well, this is the anniversary we're talking about. We're talking about. 
the night it happened. The night it happened was, it was just a pretty a big Thursday. rager. If that's just a Thursday, it was a Thursday. It was, <laughs> it was a Thursday. Legitimately a it Thursday. Was a Wisconsin Thursday. He called me up and he said, "Hey, bud, uh, what are you doing?" I'm like, "Well, you, it's Thursday. You know exactly what I'm doing. I'm standing at work, uh, waiting to get done. Why? What's up?" And he said, "I'm having a bonfire. I got beers. Come on over." I'm like, "Save a beer for me." He goes, "Not a problem." Love you, brother. I said, love you, too. I'll talk to you in a little bit. And that's the last time I talked to him. Well, the crazy thing about it is, like, we were, like, headed over there, and we showed up there, and he was, like, already gone. And then, like, his dad singing all these fucked up songs, and I'll never forget when the guy who actually owned the bike that he took showed back up, and he's like, it's not good. Got into an accident. And his dad's like, what? Yeah, you didn't believe him. And then we went to the touch because it's like, you know, you think of a motorcycle accident. Ah, he set it down or whatever. Yeah. So we all did. We went and seen you at the, the yeah. fucking bar you were bartending at. We all did his favorite shot. And we're like, yeah, we'll fucking talk to him tomorrow. And I uh, closed up early for the, for the first time in like 12 years of me working there. He let me close early. And they stayed, Jeff and Frankie stayed home. And I went up to Freighter where he got flighted. And uh, we sat there for, from, God, I, well, I'm trying to think of what time we got up there. It was probably around 1130, midnight we got up there. Sat and just talked to the family. Had some, you know, went to the cafeteria, just dicked around. Just, you know, we were trying to make the best of the situation. And when, the thing that rings through my ears still to this day besides the obviously the phone call was when they got the news that Rob wasn't going to make it that all of his organs were shutting down and everything and Rob's dad his voice he doesn't have he doesn't have a deep voice but he has a loud voice and that just echoing through the hallways i have to bury my baby i have to bury my baby over and over again it replays in my mind constantly it's the it's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. No, it is, and we're and we're not talking about this to like depress anybody. No, but like we're just explaining. People have all been through been through hardships and lost someone close to them, and it's just it's just the reality that we're not gonna fucking we're not living forever. It's yeah. not gonna happen. And it's and it's the reason why we play this song is to keep his memory bright in our minds and. Everybody's like, oh, you know, you shouldn't have saw him when he was in the position he was. Because I don't remember him as that. I remember the smile and the smart-ass attitude and the guitar playing. And Yeah, he wasn't the type that wanted uh, you to be down. He wanted you to celebrate the, the good times and the good memories. And well, he was always so humble, you know? And like positive. He was and probably one of the greatest guitarists I've ever seen in my fucking life. And yeah, he was just sure humble does. about it, like, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, like, that, no, you're not. You're fucking amazing. That, yeah, I remember was, when I know, was like, 15. Stay fucking, stay fucking humble. We were at we were at this bar in town. I was 15, and he was playing. And I remember he actually, it was the first time I actually got to see him play live. And he actually called me out on the stage and was like, this is Frankie. And he played the guitar behind his head. Dude, I felt so fucking cool in this bar at 15. <laughs> like, I just got shouted out. Like, it was Well, I asked him, surreal. too. Like, I asked him, too, like, years later. Because, like, in high school, he used to play, you know, the talent shows and shit. And he used to play with his teeth. And I was like, what? Play a song with your fucking teeth. He's like, I don't do that shit no more. Because in high school, I got fucking, there was yeah, some like, fucking shock came through <laughs> and fucking his, zapped him through his fucking teeth his guitar his, mouth. his guitar wasn't grounded <laughs> <laughs> he's like yeah i don't play with my teeth anymore <laughs> yeah his guitar wasn't grounded and he played, i'm like, like oh bro but that shit's so cool it might be worth a shock <laughs> 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 just do it bro it was rob these motherfuckers minds. rob and i used to go to Buddy guys in Chicago every other Monday for an open jam. There was always an open jam on Mondays, but for some reason he just like going to the one that was hosted by this dude that was there. And Rob was known as the white boy from Lake Geneva, <laughs> which was hilarious <laughs> to me. And they never let him play early. They always made him play pretty much after everybody else went because he would fucking destroy. Just shred. 
And there was another black dude who actually passed away, uh, I just heard. Uh, that was a younger dude. This dude, Jeff, this dude came in and looked like every stereotype from every gangster movie. He came in with the baggy-ass pants, like a FUBU jersey. Oh, no. <laughs> and a fucking, you know. A, a, just straight off the set of the wire. Yeah. <laughs> either, either either a do-rag or, or a flat-brim cap. And the dude would go up there and shred. He was awesome. He was fucking great. But then, you know, and then they'd have these other guys come up and they're old ass dudes that have been playing in fucking random bands for fucking a hundred years. Our garage. Yeah. Yeah. And they'd go up there and play and then everybody would be like, and then Rob would get up there and the drummer who was buddy guys drummer who became, I think the guy's name was Jimmy Wells, I believe who became Jimmy Wells drummer. When Rob would go up there, he would light up cause he's like, fuck yeah, we're going to fucking play. <laughs> And dude, Holy shit. and Rob went up there the one night. And he wrote a song on the stage, and it was fucking great. And I wish I still had my phone where I recorded it, but that was like flip phone days. <laughs> so, oh god. So, but it was he's hammered drunk, and the bartender's name was Martini, and she was a thick, thicker black lady, but it was sweet as pie. And he went up there and made a song about her, and just fucking shredded for fucking 20 minutes easily you know and he came off the stage and he looked at me and goes hey man was that good i go <laughs> was that good i go bro you just fucking Dripping burnt of this fucking place down are you well that's the thing sore? man like stay fucking humble man like he was good as fuck it was fucking amazing he was the best guitarist i ever heard but he is like yeah i'm all right <laughs> Fucking hey, bro. I'm fucking dying. I'm fucking dying, John. <laughs> but it's like, man, you know, it, it it gets you thinking. Like when you played that song, yeah, it is it is a depressing song, you know, to kind of end it. And we're gonna shorten it up a little bit, but it just it, it really home. makes you think. You know, it hits home. Like people you lost and the people you care about. It's fucking just live your life, man. I don't give exactly, a fuck, bro. <laughs> just fucking you know fuck sorry lose sean right now <laughs> sean <laughs> sean might sean might fucking die right here right now I might just hey have a bro heart attack. hey bro live your life you know you like fucking backstage wrestling and <laughs> i mean you're gonna die happy man like you went and seen some <laughs> podunk wrestling <laughs> yo i mean i ain't gonna lie Everybody in the audience probably made up a full set of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you might have had to add the wrestlers to that mix. Like what? The, <laughs> what the fuck going on tonight? So, I've seen some podank wrestling. You've dragged me to it. It but was. It was tonight was po dank. I mean, the ceiling was like <laughs> six feet off the floor. <laughs> like, what the fuck went on over there? It was a uh, it Wilson, was sin, bro. It was it was, dude. In all honesty, it was a good time. We had uh, the Mangolds come out, which was awesome. Jess was like, I didn't know I was gonna like it, and then I liked it. Loved it. And uh, I don't think she loved it. But it she is liked a fucking it. good. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I it's fucking, fucking I don't fun. like wrestling. It's but fucking it's fucking fun. fun there's there's something about going to, to see to just it. get fucking shit bag wasted and watch these guys <laughs> just fuck watch it. these fucking clowns <laughs> jump around. <laughs> his like the first match, it was literally three guys that were older than me versus three kids. Oh man, so they were like. 70? Uh, at least. <laughs> 73. Did they come on walkers? <laughs> they got pushed out on a cart. Live. <laughs> From <But>, nursing home <laughs> south. But Here comes Butch. And, and what made me laugh was, it was legitimately, the guys were probably in their mid-40s, and the name of their, like, faction was the revolution of like what the revolutionary war <laughs> <laughs> like, you motherfuckers are old the south rises <laughs> again and the then in these then they wrestled these three dudes that i swear to god weren't even weren't even maybe 22 at the most mm. <laughs> let me guess who won oh the you know the old dudes won <laughs> come on now i don't even have to say it but and it was one white kid that his he was known as Captain uh, fucking Captain Black. No, no, no. Uh, Spicoli, Captain Spicoli. 
He came out wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Like From a, Fast Times at yeah. Richmond High? <laughs> and, this, and this kid's legitimately wasn't born when that fucking movie came out. If I'm here <laughs> and, then and you're, you're here, here, isn't that our time? And then <laughs> his tag team partners were too, uh, I don't know if they were American Indian or of Mexican descent. But they were 100% gay. But, <laughs> but they were wearing leopard spandex. But their name, saying. their name was their team name was Lunar Eclipse, mm, which bet. which made me giggle because I'm like that's the worst fucking name I've ever heard in my life. How many times did you come tonight? I just wanted to know. <laughs> Four and a half. And a half. Yeah. That, wow, you held that last one back on, or what? Did you take your socks oh, off. Oh, bro, I was no, just, bro, he's got sandals right, on. I'm barefoot <laughs> sandals, bro. <laughs> You know we don't go over to a wrestle match with his socks on. What are you fucking nuts? But oh, my bad, my bad. Listen, I, I sent these guys a text that said there's a dude. You have their personal numbers? No, I'm talking about you guys. Oh. I, I sent the text. I thought you meant the wrestlers. No. <laughs> Great show. No. Outstanding. I, I came four and a half times. No, I, I, I sent <laughs> Jeff, Frankie, and Mike a text, and I said it was there's a guy here with a rat tail. There's another guy here wearing a suit jacket, and he's got about three teeth in his mouth. Yeah, so Sean gave him a little two ninety nine. No, these are my people. You gonna let me finish my fucking text, guy? Jeez. I'm finished. What did it say? And then I just said at the end of it, I just said, "Boys, I'm home." <laughs> that was it. Those are your people, bro. That, you I'm know, not gonna lie. Those and, are, and this is your and fucking the, wheelhouse toothless here. And rat tail. Hey, little professional. Toothless rat tail. Do me a favor. A little professionalism. Uh, silence your phone. That wasn't me. Someone's huh? phone's dinging. Can uh-huh. you hear it? Oh, yeah. Well, ring, ding, dong, ring, a ding, 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 dong. Ring, ding, dong, the program. Mm. It's bring that milady. fucking bell. You trying to lead me on? It's probably my lady <laughs> texting me from upstairs. <laughs> Sleep on the couch, motherfucker. I locked the door. <laughs> Sleep on the couch, you son I'm in here with the five horse turbocharged dildo, and you'll never... Be able to come in this room. That's fine. I got non-turbocharged penis. Oh my shit, babe! I got Madden 19. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's you know what's awesome when the new Madden comes out? What's that? It's out. old Madden. The cards are cheap as fuck. <laughs> so I'm just his ultimate team kids. is fucking. His ultimate team is stacked. It's a bunch of fucking squares on there. They don't know how to play. They're like, pool, they just got the fucking game for their birthday. Hey, you better be easy. <laughs> you better be easy on those kids. According to Donald Trump, video games are the reason why there's mass shootings. Bruh. Yeah, Madden's fucking people up. I mean, GTA, bro. I mean, I've really wanted to shoot people after we're getting done playing Madden. It is fucking sad, though, man, how they fucking... They blame... They blame mental health issues. It is a fucking dumbest thing. It is a fucking sickness. Blam. And it is so fucking sad that we even have to fucking talk about this shit. But it is <laughs> it, it dude, this shit's fucking crazy, man. Like two what was it, two days? Three. Three two. three shootings in a week. And then he's like Mental illness. We don't even know what's going on. <laughs> don't worry. We have fantastic people. Handling it. Like, what the fuck are you even talking like, about? It's video games. Take your kids' video games away. Grand yeah. Theft Auto. Greatest thing ever. Don't <laughs> like it. Sucks balls. Just kidding. See, and the funny <laughs> thing was is... The, the what w- the fuck are you even talking about? <laughs> the El Paso Walmart shooter came out and said he wanted to do it to make sure there was no illegal immigrants in the states. See, I don't even understand that. That's, like, that's a hundred percent. Well, we were talking about this earlier. Like, none of us are actually mm, like from fucking here. Mm, well, technically we are, but like our ancestors aren't. Like, what? What do you mean we're gonna? Yeah, both my grandparents are fucking. Well, the whole thing immigrants. about this country was like, you know, come on over. This is a better life. So, like, everybody from like Europe and other countries would come over here for a better fucking life. And they all went in different communities and fucking handled yeah, their well, own shit. Yeah, well, that's why you got all the different town names in the fucking city. Right, I mean, there's like a Korean town. Like, I mean, people gathered in groups. Like, you would have fucking, you know, the Italians were in a, in a neighborhood and the Polacks were in a neighborhood. Exactly. It was all segregated. Hey, I could say Polacks. Sean could say Polacks. You can't say Polacks. Stop. I don't Son even know what bitch. I am, bro. I'm like a fucking chameleon. What? 
fucking butt. There, butt. there's definitely some I'm Polak butt. in him. Have you ever I'm seen? I'm German, hundred percent. A hundred percent. Well, not a hundred percent, but I don't know. There's you know, that's a hundred percent guarantee that I'm fucking German. My name is fucking Weissmuller. It's fucking means white wheat. You sons of bitches. White wheat. White wheat. It's like strong like bull. Mm. And then I'm Irish. And yeah. uh, Austrian. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about that. What don't you know? Coming from fr- coming from the Polak WAP that looks like a goddamn Mexican. Mm. Odele Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I, I don't know how it works. Take it easy way. I don't know how it works that Frankie looks like. At he's, your work, they're just like, do I really need to? Do I really need to pay for this fucking shit? And you're like, see. <laughs> Duh. What's funny is, like I said, we've all, we always joke about it, but Frankie, seriously, I think there was something in that round lake water that just, you're supposed to be a 280-pound white dude, and you're just. 280? Giving me a lot of cushion. I've always man. been jealous of Frankie's tan, though. It's and it's year-round. And it's year-round. Tell me you're not jealous, Sean. Oh, olive skin. Look at that skin. Olive skin's got a fucking pretty smile. Yeah, you, know, you put a little lip gloss on them lips. Beautiful. La, 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 we can la. fucking party. Ladies, he's single. Ready to mingle. Make Not sure. really. He's ready to eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> make sure. Fuckers <laughs> ate the last of the pizza. Bro, Sons tell me that bitches. shit. Was make, make, ladies, make sure that uh, you uh, love emo music and have your hair dyed. What? The blonde on the top and the dark underneath. You I just like, like blonde hair chicks bro. with uh, black underneath and studded belts and tattoos. It's, it's not going to happen, dude. What do you mean? The 90s could that's come like back. Saying I like Zuba, wait another decade. That's like saying I like Zuba pants. You know what I'm saying? I like chicks that wear Zuba pants. Yeah, if I were to fucking teleport back to <laughs> the 80s, I'd be smashing. Them. Yeah, and I guarantee she's got about 5 million cut wounds on herself and listens to My Chemical Romance all day. Yeah, she's that... Burning bush on a fucking another level that I'll never be on. Why aren't we there? Oh, the burning bush. Oh, this burning beard. Mm. I've been growing this beard for 15 years. <laughs> Don't worry. Looks we'll, good, bro. We'll, you got it. We'll paint You'll it get in. there one day. What we beautiful. need to do is we'll take a picture, Sean and myself, and then we'll just like, what? what, what is it, Snapchat? I just shaved yesterday. Snapchat filter? Well, Jeff, what we should do is just trim our beards, and he can glue it to his face and all them patchy spots. It's not gonna I don't be have patchy beard, spots. It just grows you in do. all white it, trashy. It doesn't even matter, though. I mean, look at John Wick. I mean, Keanu Reeves. He's not. He's got a he fucking beard. Fucking beard. He's got a boogeyman. Yeah, the fucking boogeyman. He doesn't have a full-on beard. Oh, he's got a patchy, patchy ass fuck. beard. Yeah. I'm Ooh. upset though that they're bringing back fucking uh, Bill and Ted. Why are you upset? I'm upset. You know what are you even bad. talking about? Why are you upset about it? Because what are what the fuck are they gonna do? Go They're, back in time. In what? Do you see any fucking? Do you see any phone booths around? I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Dude, make there's one in Lake Geneva, bro. <laughs> Where? There's one in Lake Geneva. A phone booth. Yes. Does it you work? You slide the fucking door. Oh no! Show no. me where it is. No, that's just the phone. I'm you show wall. me where this is. They're going to be fucking Frankie. on Twitter. Bill and Ted are going to be tweeting. Frankie's over there time traveling. Right Pounce now. it back in time. <laughs> Fuck that bottle of Patron. Fra- Frankie's over there fucking Bill and Ted in on his own. He's talking to fucking Socrates and Bro. Bill and the kid. Bro, that, I drink that whole bottle of Patron. Yeah, and you were like, let's fucking get it, you cocksuckers. And now you're well, like sitting against the wall. Like, for, the, for the last, for the last <laughs> three weeks. In all honesty, for the last three weeks, he was saying, I've been wanting to get fucked up. I'm wanting to get fucked up. Oh, I, I got get fucked, fucked up. up tonight. Yeah, well, you got fucked up. There you go. That Jameson and Patron mission mixes. accomplished. Yeah, congratulations! You finally, it's so you finally hot in hit here. your goal. You finally hit I'm your hungry. goal. You got fucked up. I'm hungry. I'm hot. I want to take my pants off. Turn the fucking fan on. If it hums, we'll just fucking blame it on you. So I got a new segment for us to do. We're gonna, oh, well, we're gonna politely insult idea. each other. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Insult like with the bug assault? Politely. No, we're gonna Politely, see. it's all salty. Yeah. Go ahead and start it off. Ready, Frankie? Sure. Sounds like a great idea. You're a horrible speller. That's not, I mean. <laughs> great speaker. 
That's not, not really. a lie. That's a debatable as well, sir. Yeah, well, you have a gray bush. No, the bush isn't gray. <laughs> the beard is. You don't know that. I do know that. I look at my dick every day, sir. I wasn't talking to you. I'm talking to you. You give bush. good compliments. I we see. I would know who you were talking to if you take your fucking sunglasses off. <laughs> I want to see your eyes. No. I want to see who I'm insulting. They're not even open. That's why it wasn't very good, (laughs) because I didn't see your eyes. Let me see them. No. Let me see your eyes. I don't want to take them off. It's Jizz Shield. (laughs) so scary. He remembers that frat party back in 03. It's super bright in here. He's like, fuck, man, dude. It's super bright I'm never taking my sunglasses off The light is on the white setting. There's only one LED light I'll put it on red. If that mood. makes you feel more comfortable. I want purple. Um, mm. Crum, plum crazy purple. Uh, I'm putting these back on. You see my eyes. Yes. Put them back on, please. Yeah, just that, that party deep back. into my soul. That, pack, that party back in 03 really ruined you. <laughs> Which one? There was the party. There's just the jizz flying party. everywhere. The frat party where they and played. You're like, oh, fuck, my glasses. They played Soggy Biscuit. And you Remember were those biscuit. glasses? You fucking. You. You literally brought him outside and like, no, because it was, it was imaginary. You fucking slapped it and just so imagine, much cum bro. came off those glasses just and you're like, these are going in the dumpster. And I was like, bro, keep those as a souvenir. You take so you never forget oh, this three, night. I was like 14 years old. Yeah, 15 years. And old. there was jizz all over your 16. glasses. And now you're just always happened. prepared. I've been wearing these glasses since I was 16. Not those same ones. Wow. The style. Mm. Yeah, you do have, what, 48 pairs of those? I like to buy in bundle. In bulk. Bundles. <laughs> I like to bundle. I like to buy in bulk. In bundles. I bundles? like to buy in bindles. Pound sign bundles. Like, bro, uh, I, I love He, I, I go over to his house, and he's like, dude, rub this blanket. And I was like, what? I like soft blankets. He's like, rub this blanket. Are we still doing the insult thing? Is this an insult? Tell me this isn't the softest blanket you've ever I take one soft blanket, and I lay it down as a sheet, and I take another soft blanket. I'm like pound sign balling, so I bought like 15 of these fucking blankets. Yeah, you know why? So when this fucking blanket gets all crusty blankets are out of stock all the time. And cum, throw it in. You know what? The and blanket I that I got you guys right for Christmas, I'm going to go Has inside. Jizz and come at it? I'm going to fucking set it on fire. Mm. Have fun. Won't be the first thing that Jeff's of Jeff's that got set on fire. Maybe. Jizz covered sweatshirts. Oh, God. Yeah. Alpine stars, bro. I guarantee that sweater was worth more than that fucking blanket. <laughs> that sweater was worth more than that jizz uh, load that probably landed on not. it. My blanket was like eighty bucks. What's the craziest thing you guys ever c- came on? <laughs> what? My ex? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's one you crazy savage bitch. motherfucker. <sighs> uh, Bruh. Hey. 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 Yeah, it's yeah. on what a piece you. Probably mine too. <laughs> Good <laughs> fucking Rats. call, Sean. <laughs> Goddamn savage! Like, l- listen, there. You know, oh, it came on my foot. I came on the no. That came on my ex. She was crazy. You never like came on a wall in like a hotel room. <laughs> no. And you're like, <laughs> fuck you, cleaning ladies. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> so here, have you seen the videos of the people jerking off on planes? No, I don't watch that shit. No, it's you guys get down. It, see, this is what I vortex. do. I r- I rent a room with two beds. Once for fucking. And then I fuck on the one bed. Once for sleep. But I keep the other bed in pristine condition, but that's the one with all the cum on it. (laughs) (laughs) So when the clean lady walks in, she's like, what the fuck happened in here? Why is there cum in this bed? And blankets and roll it up like it's a body. Mm -hmm. Leave that in there. What? When you check out, you take all the sheets and blankets and you roll it up so it looks like a body. And then you leave. Do you leave a. Does the dead guy leave a tip? <laughs> no, they just walk yeah, in. I was going to tip, but I'm dead. Yeah. So, yeah. I can do it. What if there was, you like hide a 20 in there? You think they'd find it? Under the jizz? <laughs> you think they'd grab it? <laughs> oh, it's like fear factor. This <laughs> <laughs> fucking I'll hot bet you. I got you a dollar. <laughs> oh. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> what do you think about it? Ugh. Think about what? The jizz bed. It's jizz. <laughs> like jizz. what? 
like I guarantee the maids that cleaned our rooms when Frankie and I went to fucking Colorado. All the amount of jizz no, you guys had, it definitely must think, have been definitely out of think control. we were sleeping in the same bed because I never slept under the covers because for some reason every hotel room was like three thousand fucking degrees. I'm hot right now. I was just gonna say it's hot out in Colorado. No, right no, I didn't now. think it got that hot. No, it was, it was, but it, because we all, for some reason we ended up on the fucking top floor on most of them, except for the first night we ended up in that crack house. Well, I mean, heat rises, guys. Yeah, it's only science. I was outside smoking, ninety nine percent of the time. Sean ate an edible and he went none night. I heard he ate a fuck ton of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. And then he won. Uh, Except, no. ooh, what a lovely tea party! I'm I'm really waiting for the uh, 200 milligram edible. Podcast. I'm not doing that. I am. I want to live, bro. I just need like a 10 milligram. I'm fine. Just give me, just give me 10 milligrams of fucking THC and like a 16 inch pizza. <laughs> and leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I want to do. I don't want to go out in public. I wanna, yeah, I, I want to push do my shit. limits. I've seen you eat pizza. Oh, I've, I've eaten also pizza. seen you not eat pizza. Yeah, there's. I want to. I really want to push my There's two limits. different sides of this fucking spectrum. I've seen you eat a fucking frozen pizza like a taco before. So. Oh, I know, but when I get high, either I'm going to eat three pizzas or I'm eating no pizzas. <laughs> God damn, that 420 in Frankie's basement. It depends on how good the pizza is. The 420 in Frankie's basement when Jeff is staring Frankie down the eye talking to me. Sean. I wanted that pizza. Can I have a piece of your pizza? <laughs> Frankie's like, why are you staring at me? John's like, why aren't you looking at me? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm like, dude. I don't give a fuck. I'm weird. Give me that fucking pizza. <laughs> so I like, a... take it, motherfucker. I've seen you eat three pizzas in one sitting. Domino's, bro. That's not one pizza, sitting. though. That's meh. No, that's pizza. It's meh. It it's had got... bread, cheese, sauce. Yeah. It had pizza. all the ingredients. Now, if you ate three large Lou Malnati's in one sitting, I'd be like, Ooh. that's pizza. I just we took my shoes off. We got high as Fuck. And Frankie's like, I want to bang this girl. Let's go over to her house. Which one? What? Huh? Uh, I'm guessing she was really stupid. Which one? So. Go the ahead one and you, continue. The one you left me uh, you, you left me alone out there with three pizzas. And, and you, went, <laughs> <laughs> you went to the bedroom. <laughs> little did you know. He's like, oh, I'm going to get my little fingers wet here. <laughs> I'm going to do a little gonna five, $5 finger banging, I just and I'm going to come out and dominate this pizza. And I was like, man, this motherfucker just left me. I'm watching you were the, watching Yellow I was high submarine. as fuck watching the Yellow Submarine. Guess what happened when you, you walked out? You were content. Out. There was no many, more fucking pizza. pizza. <laughs> I ate three dollars. I worked up an appetite, and there's up. nothing left. To eat, I go. Did Serves you, you eat right. all fucking three pizzas? Yo, who would eat thirty <laughs> bags of lunches? This fucking clown. <laughs> exactly. I was the guy. No, it. You know, we've all been there. My feet on this concrete feel amazing. It's so cold, bro. I'm on these fucking like. Why is it so hot? In Walmart here? sandals, and my feet are. Bro, not those are and one. I yeah, gave, these I'm are one. from Walmart. I gave you a chair. Do you man. remember when and one was like? Top the of the shit. line. Yep. But why is it not, though? Champions, top of the line. Because it's sold at Walmart? It's garbage? Champion isn't. Champion's made oh. the same exact way. They just put a really heavy fucking price tag on it. Well, th- why does that even fucking matter? Like, and one was, like, up there with, like, Reebok and... Well, what happened... I wouldn't say Nike. What happened was the tour went dead. Well, they had, the, like, the and one mixtape, you yeah, know, the back and in one 03. Mi- the and one mixtape tour. Went dead, so that killed their brand. And Walmart picked up the brand for super cheap. Because I want to take my pants off. Yeah, but off. it's still it's still the same shit, though. Frankie, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Take them off. Is that a bro. challenge? I'll take them take off. Take them off. Fuck well, them. I'll take our pants off. Uh, I don't need to. Take my balls pants are probably off. gonna be hanging out. My boxers got a hole in them. Jesus Christ, bro! Well, drugs, what do you mean? It's laundry day. Yeah, actually, tomorrow's laundry day. Huh? Laundry day. <laughs> He's got to get Star Trek <laughs> press. That's what I'm saying. I got my holy draws on. Bruh. 
That's it is Sunday, need. technically. That's why you guys need ladies. Is it Sunday? What, what do you mean? I, I don't need a lady. I do my own laundry and I throw my holy <laughs> lower out. I know, but just think about how much time you'd have to jerk off if you, your lady was doing your laundry for you. <laughs> Bro, it takes me 10 <laughs> seconds to drop my fucking drop my load. Drop your load. Drop my he load. takes his socks off. Oh, it's over. You. Game over. <sighs> you know, there's been a running joke since podcast one about me and my socks. We could probably kill it now because I think it's beating like a dead horse. No, we're gonna so. we're gonna beat that horse. What do you mean? It's just we're gonna beat it hard. It's just, <sighs> anytime gonna... we find out a weakness, we're gonna exploit it. <sighs> Sean can't come with his socks on. <laughs> hey. Ladies, if you want to test this theory, <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead. Yeah. I don't understand you. You motherfuckers are single in 2019, yet no one has a fucking Twitter. Or a fucking, uh, what is it called? Tinder. Tinder. Because I'd I... I'd just be swiping left all fucking day. Oh, yeah. What are you guys doing? I have... What are you doing? I have more respect for my dick than to bang a fucking herpy-infested slut on Tinder. How do you know she's herpy-infested? Yeah, I don't go that far. I just don't want to get no dumb chick pregnant. What? Wear a fucking condom. I don't like them. Yeah. <sighs> PSA, I... wear condoms. Yeah, I don't like them either, but fucking... like, Dude, Eminem, it's 2019. Like you, All said, these chicks are, are like on practice. the pills. Fuck practice. Guarantee, man. She'd be like, don't worry about it. Don't yeah. even... I'm going to Walgreens tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to Walgreens tomorrow. <laughs> I, I would, I, you know, honestly, I should just buy stock and play and be... And honestly, you could just go through the drive-thru at Walgreens. Like, she gets up early as fuck... Here, here's she an goes, egg, here's she an egg McMuffin. The, she goes to the Walgreens drive through She ain't even got to get out of her car. Nah. She goes to the Walgreens drive through She's like, yeah, give me that plan B. I Here, fucked up pops last it. night. Here, here's a, here's oh, a fucking Jesus egg McMuffin. Christ, McMuff- don't even tell me. Here's an egg McMuffin and a plan B. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For you. Can we not talk about food right now? I'm fucking starving. Bro, how about that pizza? You're a cock smoke. Ah, that's so good. You know what you can do? It was delicious. Below each other, right? Frankie didn't appreciate it, so he didn't get a See, slice. Because, you know, it cross because well, he doesn't like shit in the microwave. Well, Guess what? Oh I explained it to you. I hit you up God. with some fucking knowledge the other day. Oh, fucking microwaves take out the nutrients. No, they don't. Durr. It heats up the water and vibrates it. Yes, and that's what heats your food. Yes. What do you think happens in there? What do you think happens when you put a paper plate in the fucking microwave? You think it bursts into flames? No. It cooks the food. That's yeah. why your plate is not. It nukes it, bro. They, see, that's There's a misconception. There's no nuclear anything in a microwave. <laughs> Watch your balls. What do you think? Chernobyl's going on in there? Huh? I think this corridor. You to clear out the here. kitchen for 55 fucking years? You have four fucking bar stools right by you. I don't want to sit in a bar so I want to sit in my red camouflage chair over there just blending in. Yeah, yeah. well, you should have brought it over. There's a right. chair right behind you. Literally, right behind you. There is. <laughs> Seriously. There Pull it open, bro. Oh, Jesus. Why it's annoying us that, the pleasure. That, that's good audio right there of him shaking the... <laughs> <laughs> hey, did, the we talk about, did we talk about what the weirdest place you guys came? You just asked. <laughs> So you, you yeah. said craziest. Just fucking, you said craziest. I'm fucking around, man. You guys are dodging the question. It's called. I didn't dodge it. I was. Yeah, you're I dodging it, bro. It. You guys are scared. Why don't you start it off and tell me where the cra- I already told you, dude. Look I like that. to rent fucking two beds in a hotel room. Oh, One of them's all you're fucked up. You're a wild up. man. And then the bed that's like clean and no one slept in. That's the <laughs> one I come. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll tell everyone what's going on when you're over there jizzing in your pants. I am my feet up right now. I got my belly holding the mic. I'm laying. <laughs> Frankie's relaxed. literally sitting at like a fucking 90 degree angle right wow, now. Wow, ladies. So let's get a picture of this. Yeah, go ahead and post it. He'll, he'll be on fucking Tinder soon. Post Just go ahead and. <laughs> What's the non? If you like to go out, what's for swipe right? Dinners. What's the non? Swipe right. Swipe. Hey. Swipe left. Hey. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of left swipes coming. Oh Jesus! So you I'm might as well just send that picture right to Grindr. In all honesty, hey, can you see this? I'm flicking you off on my foot. In all honesty, the reason why I'm not on Tinder is uh, my self-esteem so fucking shitty that I'd have so many left. 
the the right swipes that I I get are ones I don't want, and the left swipes are the ones I do want. Well, you guys are setting the bar too fucking high here. No, right? dude. Who has a bar high? You guys. Oh, we do. You're fat as fuck. I just want like a chick fucking... to rub my back and no. bring me cokes. No, it's not gonna happen. You Why? you are not gonna find an Italian it. woman like your mother. Okay, who's like making your pasta sauces, homemade pasta sauces. My mama makes the best back pasta. Rub. No, it's not going to happen. The best pasta. Your mother, no one will ever make your pasta. mother is a dead breed. They don't make them like that anymore. Yeah, it's those true. strong models, Italian women. Those models who have just been retired. Cook pasta all fucking day. I know she's topless. Not listen, but I love you, mama. <laughs> <laughs> and they've, you know, what they've turned into the Jersey Shore. Oh, yeah, mouth. that's where you're going to get. You're going to date fucking Snooky, Snooky if you want fucking Snooky homemade Snooky pasta. And, and, you're, smosh, smosh. and you're not going to get homemade pasta. You're going to get some British shit. I'll make the or, pasta. I could cook one night a week. We can go out the other Yeah, five. I mean, Frankie can boil noodles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't uh, even, like he doesn't even boil thing, ramen. Right? What are we talking about? Bro. What? No I'm, one boils I'm actually ramen. a phenomenal cook, so you guys could fuck All right, off. everyone out there right now, let me just give you a little... Uh, PSA, ramen, take the packet out, one cup of water, put it in the microwave for three Ew. minutes, shake the packet, <laughs> dump it in, get that chicken flavor. Hey, do you have ramens? Oh, I got a fucking ton of ramen. Uh, I'm making So you put that chicken, podcast. that little sprinkle. Is there chicken or steak? That little, can I finish my shit? Go ahead. Jesus I'm Christ. Hungry. You get that little sprinkle of chicken. <laughs> you put that bitch right back in the microwave for two more minutes. Whew. Change your life. That's Five the minutes. That's the grossest you got, way to cook you got, or, No, it is the best. Or the kids, The kids in this house won't eat ramen any other way. How do you make you it? Brainwashed. Or I boil a fucking, pot of water. Yes, yes. How long does that take? How long does it take to boil? If you're not watching it, it's like five minutes. No, it's not. So not a chance in fucking hell. I have one of those awesome water coolers at the house that has the hot water side that comes out at like ten million degrees. Yeah. So does so the shit out of my faucet. So that's no. it's still. It comes out hotter out of that thing. By the hotter. time your fucking water is well, boiling, the doors I'm already open, fucking eating. I'm warmer. How dare you, fucking clowns? I'm going to tell you right now, these fucking kids will not eat ramen any other way. You know what you can they do? They also won't eat mac and cheese with the powders in there. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, mac and cheese. I'm hungry. Mm, this ramen is the best. I'm telling you. One cup of water, three minutes, dump the pack in it. We need to get a pizza place. Them. You know, you know what the best mm. ramen is, honestly, is when you fucking pan fry the noodles with steak and chicken. Yeah, yeah but that takes too long. I'm talking about. No, like it a, doesn't. It's like ten minutes. Oh, Everyone thinks it takes forever to cook. It you really act doesn't. like you cook. You I do don't. Cook. When's the last you time you don't broke cook. out a pot and pan? When's the last time you cooked your dinner? Explain um, yourself. What did you make? Besides I made the hot fucking, dogs and fucking mac and cheese. I made three fucking weeks ago. yeah, not something out of ago. a microwave. When's the last time you cooked a dinner for yourself? Um, I made a fucking Lou Malnati's pizza last night. I thought you made it for me. The yeah, fucking liar. And then you're bitching the whole time. So guess what? I gave your pizza to Sean. <laughs> that <laughs> it was crust, delicious. That crust is fucking soft. Was it harder earlier? Is that what like, I yeah, said? Yeah, I guess. That's exactly what you said. Just you, like that. You huh? bitched about free food. Was this crust free harder food? earlier? You know what? We had plans to Did go to get a mac and cheeseburger, up? and I had my fucking hope set on a mac and cheeseburger. You could have got one. Yeah, two days to get it. I don't understand, dude. You like, it here it's not our days. fault. You're like, hey, we want to get mac and cheeseburger? And like, Man, dude, I made a... Sweet ass fucking Lou Malnati That's style not pizza. That's what was discussed. And you then, could have called and, and ordered And then it. Kayla's like, "You can call and pick it up." And you're like, Pff, on the down. ground. With then the I gotta then I gotta press my button. Elbows. I gotta do work. I'll go pick it up on the motorcycle. When's the last time you cooked something? My elbows. When's the last time you cooked something that wasn't out of the microwave? Uh, today I had hot dogs and eggs. Oh, w- would you boil the hot dogs? Only, were, hot dogs and eggs. No. Hot dogs and eggs. Hot dogs no. and eggs. That's the most Polish American. dinner. <laughs> <laughs> the most Polish 
fucking shit I've ever heard of. We didn't have anything really, so I we only had two hot dogs left, and we only had two eggs left. So I chopped up hot dogs, fried them in butter, and poured eggs in there. It's hot you dogs and what? eggs. What? You chop okay. up the hot dogs. Okay. Okay. Put it in a so pan with did butter. you cook the hot dogs first, or you just chopped them up? You chop right them out the up fridge. and you throw them in a pan of butter and fry them. And after the the, the hot dogs are good and fried. So you basically had fried bologna. Frankie. Yeah, with eggs. You Frankie. put eggs in it and you scramble it around. What are you talking Listen, man. I, why I do people think this is so weird? I understand why you don't cook for yourself. Cause Dude, you, it was delicious. Fuck off. You have nah, so much good. cholesterol in that pan. Everyone's like, oh, the cholesterol check. um, bro, I fucking eat fried it's bologna. It's too high. <laughs> it's borderline. <laughs> Like five, I mean, it's man. high, but you know. I my, love fried bologna. <laughs> <laughs> my heart beats. You can hear it just. Speaking <laughs> of which, when are we going to go to the county fair? <laughs> it's going on right now, guys. Is it? Because no, I want to go get like fried pinkies huh? no. and How fried fucking Oregos dare you? Kenosha County and Fair is going on. And then the uh, Walworth County Fair is next weekend. Uh, Ooh, we should do that uh, tomorrow. We're going to the track. I, thought, I didn't think Kenosha County was going on right now. Yeah, well, we'd be there right now, but. You didn't get the fucking lube. He didn't get the heroin. Well, Frankie. I'm out on that. <laughs> I don't even understand how that conversation comes up. Like, hey, what are you doing this week? You want to hang out, do some heroin? Well, no, it was in the email. I yeah. remember the email. But I'm just saying I don't understand how shit like that comes up. That conversation. How does anything come up? Yeah. Let's, you ever try crying either? Let's do that. Let's go steal some fucking... Copper Dumb pipes out of a building and get some crack. Like, how does that even come up? <laughs> how does yeah, anything dude, that sounds like a come great up? idea. You know, it sounds like a really good idea. No, ramen it's noodles. Go make some, bro. I'm going Five to. minutes. I'm going. To. You go ahead. No, what I'm I want you to do. Oh, water. Yeah, you're gonna boil that water. You're gonna stand there in yeah, the kitchen. Go ahead. Like, I go take a piss all the time. Up. I mean, no one's gonna miss you. Like they don't miss me. So I'm not out. I'm not making ramen. Oh. Ow! I just smashed my baby toe. I'm not going to make ramen during the podcast. I'm just saying afterwards. I'm gonna max out on food. Sean, you're not on my level. Get on my fucking level. That's fine. The only thing, man, that pizza's gone. I'm so yeah. Sad. Hey. Way to go. I'm I'll sober make it enough enough way. to go drive to McDonald's. Yeah. You know what happened last weekend when I left here and I went to McDonald's? Fucking Richmond. You got closed jerked. up. This is she. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got jerked <laughs> off by a homeless guy? I remember when I, I pulled up one night and I'm like, uh, first she says, hi, how can I help you? So I ordered my food after I get done with this <laughs> big ass order. She goes... <laughs> Yeah, this is like a 15-minute order. Yeah, there's. I'm like, can I get eight double cheeseburgers, no pickle? Can I get fucking six McChickens, and only then, cheese, and three then, large fries? And then? And then she says, oh, i sorry, we closed. <laughs> I said, what? Yeah, well, you, then why'd you make me order Yeah, this well, shit? you know why? Because they're like... Fuck you! I ain't making all this bullshit like this. Oh, dude, I was so it was so many, so many people we counted on it. It was after two. Taco Bell was closed. Just imagine so you know what the I said. Shame. He, I the said shame. I'm sorry. That's basically like a shame walk. I'm like I just put my order. Why'd you ask me my order if you guys are closed? And when you girl said, at a frat I don't party. Know. What are you girl? Huh? What? <laughs> With your girl at a frat party It's gotta getting, be your bull And you're getting banged out in some fucking room And you gotta walk out of that room And everyone's looking at you Staring, judging the That's walk, a walk of shame, walk of shame. That's what? exactly what happens when people send you to McDonald's And you come back with nothing <laughs> 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 That's the exact same feeling You're like fuck dude Everyone's or, counting on me Or when I'm sorry. two dudes leave the fucking We're gonna go get more beer Come back an hour and a half later with no beer, but one looks really relaxed. The other one's wiping his chin. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, like, where'd you guys go? I thought you were getting beer. <laughs> yeah, where's this beer you talked about? <sighs> fucking jizz everywhere. <laughs> it's jizz. <laughs> it's milk. Look at my fucking black Fuck. light out. I know you I fuckers are too. Well, they didn't have it smoke. I can't reach my pocket. Cause man, tonight was weird. a fucked up night, man. We had some random <sighs> ass fucking people just show up. This this fucking what? shit was crazy. I don't even know where my my fucking headspace is at right now. I'm so confused. Is that an app? Headspace? It is an app. It is because I have it, and then every once in a while my set my phone says check headspace. Get some 
get some head space. Yeah. And I'm like, <sighs> yeah, blowjob stock's going way down. Bro, that's a fucking tease right here. Blowjob stock is dead, especially after the week dude, Jeff's it's had. it's gone, bro. <laughs> it's especially over, if, dude. Especially after Jeff making one comment. Well, I mean, one comment can, can <laughs> I mean, it can change the world. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. Right. I yeah, mean, look. Hitler made a bunch of comments, and look what he did. He, Jeff got he conquered. Jeff got fucking punched in the face for sure. Ooh. Metaphorically, not physically. That bug assault rifle has been shot at my shins. Yeah, you got shot up. Oh, man. This shit was fucking... Well, you know... It's one of those things where you don't talk about... I guess you don't talk about the hottest chick you had sex with and how lame she was in the sack. I don't even know if this is working. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're on. I'm fucked up. No, yeah, it was just just a random conversation about some bullshit that happened 20 years ago and probably not the best decision of my life. Do you make a <laughs> whole lot of good decisions? I haven't seen any lately. Well, I mean, like, I was just trying Beauty to explain about I how I was just really... That's a good investment. That was trying a good to decision. explain how... Just because she's hot doesn't mean it's going to be a good lay. It, let, let's it be honest. Isn't, it didn't come off that way. Let's be honest. It really didn't. A lot of dime pieces, not very good in the sack. No, they kind of just. Let's be honest. I got a dirt bike for sale. 500 bucks, guys. <laughs> what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Oh, is, our sponsor this week is Frankie's Dumbass Decisions. It was a good decision at the time. Go, go to www.frankiesdumbassdecisions.com. I, I bought a dirt bike. And you could buy a $500 dirt bike that's worth $37 in scrap. No way. I was just We were just talking about that, how that bike's two grand. Brand new oh, off the fucking showroom floor. It's not even two grand brand new. 1200 No. That was my bike. Your not bike yours. is over there in pieces. Huh? I'm looking at well, your know, bike right now in pieces. When was the last time that bike drove? It's when was the last time you drove your bike? Uh, ten years ago. Ten years ago, I drove mine two weeks ago. Well, when's the last Suck time it. someone drove a Chevelle? Probably in their garage. How much is that worth? What? Huh? <laughs> what? When's the last time the guy flew a fucking hot <laughs> like, air let's balloon? Say it's basically a collector's item. Really quick, I saw something that I wonder if you guys seen. Did you see the new uh, hoverboard? I, I, think. I heard about it. I did not look at There's it. There's no All such right. thing as, as a hoverboard. No, There's motherfucker, one thing for real. called hey, a hoverboard. Hey, okay. there is a new hoverboard. I don't They're know who made e-boards. it. I'm pretty sure the Russians made it. They actually, it. It's a dual jet thing on your feet. And, oh, God, I wish you guys would have seen it. Google that shit. It looks fucking awesome. I guarantee you in 25 yeah, years, that's great everyone's going to be driving That's great to listen those. to. Google it. Google it. Hey, let's watch Jack this boards. video. Let's watch this video. I'm Supposedly, it right he now. tried to Holy land it on a ship. Holy fuck. Yeah, look at those jets. And he landed in the water, so they did it again. Wow. And he landed on the, sh- on the ship. Well, yeah, but because normal hoverboards don't work over it's water. It's not like really a hoverboard. It's so like a jet pack. If you, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Normal hoverboards don't work over water. Like, if you want to go over water, you got no what juice. You need. What do you need, Sean? You need a bad Power. Bag. You need power. Right. So you need that pit bull hoverboard. Movie reference. Bruh. I actually watched Back to the Future like Fucking twice. Manure. Speaking of someone hovering, how about Mitchie Bruce goes 1260? Fucking sick, dude. 12 fucking sick. I, escape I mean, it was dope, but it was like, it was kind of like big air. Well, yeah. I mean, like Tony Hawk did it in like a legit. He did a 900. A 900. In, in but a, it was in a legit half pipe. Yeah. I mean, Sean White has come close to getting that in a regular half pipe. It's it's still it's so impressive as fuck. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I got dizzy spinning looking at it, bro. And and he didn't even win gold. Dizzy spin, pound sign. Dizzy spin. Frankie's gonna have the dizzy spins in about three minutes. Oh, dude, I feel it's like I had an hour ago. You know what I want to do? I want to go snowboarding up in the UP. Long time, General. I don't know what that means. It's also it, what do you mean? No it sounds just right like now. what I said. I want to go snowboarding right now. Not now. This well, if you winter. went now, you'd be disappointed as fuck because there ain't no snow. There ain't no snow. I'd go check out the red light and then maybe the red light district. The what? The the light. 
What light? What do you mean, what light? The light in Michigan that's on Unsolved Mysteries. Fell us in. I've never seen this light. Yeah, you well, have seen it, so there's I a have light. I not. Yes, you We have. were going to go see it. You didn't go? Nope. So I won't last. All right, when I Remember, went up no there, one's, I no went No one's fucking there. truck would fucking get Make out of the snowbank. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to see the light. <laughs> Oh, shit. I remember you guys, both of your trucks, you guys trying to make it out of the driveway just sideways. Well, because the snow's it. fucking different. Like, around here, like, <laughs> bro, I got fucking, like, snow plowed in. My fucking trailblazer's like, bitch, please. Bitch. I'm fucking getting out. So we're up there, and he's got this fucking, like, brand new $40,000 Toyota Tacoma. And I'm like, bitch, 2003, brand bitch new. you can't even get out of that snowbank. My fucking trailblazer gets up out of anything. And then my fucking nope. Nope. all four tires are just spinning. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to shut up now. I guess we ain't going to see that light. Well, I went and seen it. So there's a mysterious light. It's a, There's a long track. It used to be a railroad track. And there's a sign that says, supposedly... There is a old man that was a conductor and heard screams from the wood on the tra- on on the train. There was screaming from the wood, so he went and investigated with a lantern. And there was a little girl that was mauled by a bear, and so was he. And you could see the light of his lantern to warn people of the dangers in the woods. There's no more railroad track that goes through it, so what it's dangerous. just a straight line that's going through the woods. There's what no dangerous. trees. I don't know. I guess bears. Fucking monsters of the midway. Let's go. Gorillas, boss. <laughs> so there's a light, though. You see it. And as you walk closer to it and this and that, sometimes it disappears. Then it comes back. And it just floats there and hovers in the sky. And no one can explain it. It's been on Unsolved Mysteries. They they can't explain what it is. What just, yeah, why it's there. It's fucking pretty crazy to see it with your own eyes. And, yeah, we were fucked up. Just to experience it. Just to experience it. Did a whole lot of shredding up there. They got some good mountains. I mean, he, and he, just, sold it. he just sold it for me. I want to see that shit. I want to go see a red light that <laughs> some old man got mauled by a bear with a little girl. Hey, man, until you see it, you don't know the kind of power that changes your life. See something no, that's unexplainable. I I wanted to go so fucking bad, but well, I will go getting this out of year. Snowbank. Say it on the podcast because then we'll go because we've said it for the last three years. Yeah, we'll go up there. I, I'm gonna, I'm Sean's gonna, gonna learn how to snowboard. I'm gonna tell you now. It ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna have to gonna relearn go. how to snowboard. I'm gonna get <laughs> George Shitter so to go long. with me because he loves going up there. I'll go up there with Drawer Shitter. Drawer Shitter. Mm. I'm not going to call him that because it's not 100% sure that he did it. Uh, 200% sure. It's, no, you fucking it, it, not going to do it. It's a strong 90. I love him to death. I love him to death, wonder... shit in a drawer. I don't know if he did. He pissed in an oven. I know that. You can call him oven. Why are you? F- oven you, you just. F- you, no, okay. I wonder if the mic picked Stop. it up. You, you realize you just put that by your ass, you farted in it, and now totally it's against didn't. your fucking <laughs> lip. <laughs> I totally didn't. You just put your you ass fucking on your eye. fucking mouth. I put the mic down right here. This is nowhere Close near my ass. Close enough to your fucking ass. Woo. I wonder if it picked it up. Call. I'm telling you, I'm comfortable in this chair right now. My feet up you on this bar. You look comfortable as fuck. How can you even see me? Can you see this? You look like a 17-year-old cheerleader. That's how comfortable you look. <laughs> what? In the back of Joey and Davey's truck. Mm-hmm. And- Getting pig roasted. You know what the yep, great thing you're is? You're ready for good old I keep getting older. Turkey stuff. Stay the same age. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday, honey? <laughs> Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Because I love <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hungry, I need a horse. How hungry? I just said it. It's you're so hungry you eat the crotch out of a dead horse. No, I need a horse from Scarface. Scarface. Thank well, you. then they're gonna Thank cook you. Thank you for getting horse. that reference. Then they're gonna cook you a horse. They're gonna cook you a horse. I like the Cheech and Chong version yeah. better. I'm so hungry I eat the crotch out of a dead horse. Yeah, fuck it, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm starving. I haven't been that fucked up. You guys ready to eat or what? I'm starving. 
<laughs> you guys don't. I'm ready. I got to nothing, snow. dude. I'm. What do you, I'm you just said empty. you had ramen. I'm I'm I don't, ramen. dude. That's why I sent the kids of my sisters. Shut up. Because she's got a fuck ton of food. There's <laughs> I got nothing, dude. There's tomorrow. food up there. I'm I don't gonna, get paid till tomorrow, man. Dude, I got no you, groceries. You got to make an ice sandwich. I don't even. Swan just said he's not drunk. He can go to McDonald's. I got like enough. I ain't coming back here. I got fuck like that. enough for like it's two on the way. of milk. You literally have to pass here on the way back to your house. No, I don't. You kind of do. He's already here, so why would he have to pass here? Yeah. Because he's going to McDonald's. I'm not then, going to McDonald's now. I'm going home. I'm drinking a glass of water King, and going the fuck out. Glass glass fuck. Water. He's passing Burger King, Subway. I want Patron. No, I don't want any more Patron. I won't be passing Burger uh, King. Huh? I won't be passing Burger it King. It is on your I'll left. Just take, I'll just pass Subway. Passing the touch. Yeah. Touch this. I, I don't have my key anymore, so I can't go make mozzarella dare sticks. You. I want. Can't be friends anymore. So you get that key back. <laughs> Any kind of food. I want that late night fucking the case late, of beer. I want late, nacho cheese fuckery. and flaming hot Cheetos. Where the fuck do you get nacho cheese with your flaming hot Cheetos? The at? gas station. What gas station? Oops. Any gas station that sells nacho well, cheese? Well, they sell them separately. Yeah, it's not like together. Well, like the Tostitos fucking cheese dip. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. So he gets flaming hot. He gets a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Chester Cheetos, and then he dips them into the fucking the cheddar. cheddar. It's delicious. Leaning tower of cheese. Ah, oh. cheese. Oh God, Jesus Christ! Four baby turtles. Oh, I guess enough. Enough. Of what? He loves the four baby turtles. We gotta retire it. I don't have to retire. Well, it's only been talked about twice. I mean, we're going to retire it after two episodes. Four episodes, sir. Bruh. He loves four baby turtles. I was turtles. fucking cracking up. Well, it happens. I mean, when you're in an emotional state and you Pizza. smoke some fucking Red Pizza. Rock with bikers up in a fucking 16-story moon tower. 144 <laughs> stairs. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I love Frankie's fucking. I I want Frankie to tell my life story when I die because he's going to exaggerate the fuck out of it. When Jeff was born. He fucking had a. Yeah, man, this four, baby four was step. fucking 22 pounds. <laughs> baby Jeff was 22 pounds. Cock like a ounces. fucking racehorse. <laughs> Came out walking. Oh, man. He grew up. Fucking millionaire. Only be called old fire hose so many times before <laughs> you snap. Sea biscuit. When Jeff died, he was six foot eight, two hundred and eighty seven pounds. Tell my story. Hold my beer. I he died beer. making it's ramen there, noodles out of the microwave. I'm not <laughs> in only making five minutes. Them in the microwave. <laughs> That's fine, dude. You accidentally put that stove, bro. Accidentally put the fork in the microwave. And all I'm gonna say right now is you're sleeping. Not on the couch. Dude, he's got his daughter's room. He's got the boys' room. <laughs> My he's daughter there. has the <laughs> best bed in the entire house. Fucking memory foam. It's just tiny. And she don't even sleep in it. Don't even sleep in it. Because she likes to cuddle with you. Loves it. Dobby's girl. <laughs> Cue <sighs> that shit up, player. Yeah, I'm fucking. Well, I'm sunbathing over here. This what fucking the light. happens. I don't know what the fuck you're doing over there. You're fucking drunk as fuck. Ooh. You're on that fucking gray sock ramen noodle bullshit. I the worst leg tattoos I've ever seen in my life. I <laughs> 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 Why are they the worst tattoos? No, nah, they're good tattoos. Just they in the worst tattoos. fucking spots ever. Like, hey, let's get a fucking badass tattoo. Yeah, where should we get them? On our fucking legs. Said no one ever. My whole back of my calf. I love that piece. <laughs> You're just jealous. Uh, well. On that you have elbow, stars boys. on your fucking elbows. It's about that time, boys. Douchebag. Jesus. So violent. So aggressive. Douchebag. How'd say? You got stars. So, for Jeff, for Frankie... For myself. Thank you all very much. We will see you next week here from the Gentleman's Den. Goodbye.